I'm having some trouble with the can. Now pay attention. You take the can. You stick it up under here. You press the button. See? Uh-uh. I don't know why you can't figure out how to work a can opener. I'd prefer the old ways. The old ways? Of opening up canned gravy? In the Carpathian Mountains, the gypsies would hang wineskins full with the fresh drippings of freshly cooked meats as an offering to the Lord of the Undead. Well, we aren't in the Carpathian Mountains, are we? Alas, no, we are not. And where are we? Snellville, Georgia. And what do people in Snellville use to get their gravy? The can opener. Mm-hmm. That's right. Now I want you to do this. Come on now. Oh, but there's already one open. Nope. Can I just have the one that you opened? Hell no. You gonna learn to do this? You can't be waking me up every night. Oh, what's that over there? Look. Thank you. God damn it! <laughs> oh, good lord! <laughs> what now? He has been here, has he not? Who? Dracula? So it's true. You serve him. No. He gives me money and I go to the store for him. <laughs> you are his gravy slave. Hey, I don't know who you think you are coming up in my bedroom in the middle of the night talking I am Van Helsing. <laughs> you have heard the name perhaps? No? Van Helsing? Like the band? <laughs> no! Not like the band. <laughs> Is there a band called Van Helsing? <laughs> Are you thinking of Van Halen? Yeah, yes. No! I have no connection to the band Van Halen. I am Simon Van Helsing, my great 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 grandfather Abraham Van Helsing pursued the vampire Dracula in London. You've read the book Dracula? No? No. You should. It's really good. It's all true, too. Actually, uh, Bram Stoker embellished some parts, like the part about uh, vampires drinking blood instead of gravy. That's not true. And the part where my ancestor actually killed Dracula, that didn't happen either, as you are well aware. So. Okay. Why are you here? For the last 120 years, the members of my bloodline have devoted their lives to one and only one cause. That's not entirely true either. Uh, my family has been involved in other things that don't have anything to do with this. I'm kind of using some exaggeration as a means of dramatic license. <laughs> I have come to finish what my great, 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 great grandfather began. I have come to once and for all end the scourge of Dracula. What are you going to do? When he visits you next, I intend to follow him to his lair. And there, where he sleeps in his coffin, I will drive this stake through his heart. Why? Because if I do not, it will go on and on and on. He's just an audience. <laughs> and he will continue to annoy <laughs> and wheedle innocent people for gravy. It will never end. <laughs> you know he can turn into a bat, right? Yeah, he mentioned that. <laughs> then I don't need to tell you the implications of a bat that craves gravy. <laughs> They're profound? Come on! It just seems a little extreme. You would not think that had you seen the things that I have seen. Like, what kind of things? <laughs> I have seen a poodle. 
fuck a shoe. Okay. I'm dead serious. It was just a shoe, but he was going at it like it was a shoe or something. So we are agreed. Tonight, after 400 years, what he has? <laughs> then tomorrow night, after 400 years. He doesn't usually show on Saturdays. Oh, why not? I don't know. I think he's got something he does. <laughs> After 400 years. Hey, man, he's Jewish. What? Well, I hadn't thought about it, but it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it's Saturday's off. The day after tomorrow, after 400 years. Look, I'm going to get up in two hours. Look, can I just finish the okay. thing? Look, it just helps me feel committed. Yeah, okay. When I make it all the way to the... It puts the exclamation point right. on it. <laughs> <laughs> the day after tomorrow, after 400 years, the vampire Dracula will die! Ha, 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 ha.